Hey, if you pull a needle fiber, can I have it? I've been playing it online for like years. <laughs> but it came out months ago. Wait. Are you one of those people? It's not our fault that it took Konami forever to release it in the TCG. So you've been playing needle fiber. How, Kifferbrax? For months now, even though it's not TCG legal. <laughs> More like years, and yes, there's no point in testing without a card that powerful when you know it's gonna come out. It's like before the Perform Ages came out. Except we didn't all age dramatically waiting on Trick Clown. Now we just gotta wait for Red Eyes Dragoon to come out. Jurassic. Maybe, I can't remember, I remember one other movie, but... In the Mouth of Madness, dude, and he did In the Mouth of Madness. It's one of the most underrated horror movies of all time I still haven't watched yet. It, it was a horror movie. He was yeah. In. It wasn't that one. It was in another one, like Arachnophobia or something. Anyways. No, no, no. Movie. Arachnophobia is uh, Jeff Daniels, bro. Oh, the dude from Dumb and Dumb. Yeah. No, I've seen Arachnophobia. I haven't. Real intro. All right, you guys, today I am overloaded with packs. I have some dual overload to open. I have tons of dual overload to open as well as these promo packs. I have all of these promo packs to open. Um, once again, a shout out to Bryce who sent me all this stuff to open. If you guys have not seen that video, I'll have a card going across your screen right now where you can click on it. So this guy from Canada sent me his entire Yu-Gi-Oh collection and got me some packs to open. So I'm gonna be opening them. Let's open them, all right? So starting with these promo packs. These uh, packs are from different tins and uh, legendary collection. Uh, this one's actually from the uh, you know, uh, hero structure deck, um, stuff like that. This one's uh, legendary dragons. Um, there's these are just uh, promo packs out of different Yu-Gi-Oh product that are unopened. Um, here's the god cards from my legendary collection one. Um, you know, stuff like that. That's what we're going to be opening today, um, and then we're going to be opening up the dual overload after. So let's start with these dark magician packs, guys. Let's start with the dark magician packs. A dark magician proxy dragon pot of desires. These are from the mega tins. It's really cool getting the Pot of Desires. People still play this card. It's a neg nine, but you get to draw two cards, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then uh, Dreamland. Very cool stuff. Oh, I forgot it comes with a token, too. I thought Dreamland was the last one out of that. Um, so this one's going to be the same thing. Um, this one's going to be all the same cards out of this. So we're just going to open them. Like any, any of the duplicates I have, I'll just open them together because they will just be the same cards so you can see. But having those extra part of, Pot of Desires, uh, number 71, that's a cool card. I, I forget what it does, but it looks really cool. I always like the way it looked anyways. Um, there's some Yu-Gi-Oh cards that you know, I, I just like for the art. Uh, Toon World being one of those. Let's put it this way. Toon World's not a very practical card. You pay a thousand and just have it on the field or whatever, and it just stays there so you can have tunes. Still one of my favorite cards of all time, just for the art though, and not to mention Maximilian Pegasus played that shit in the show. So you gotta you gotta play it, you gotta love it, you gotta love those tunes. So um moving on, let's see what other duplicates do I have here, if I have any other ones. It actually looks like I uh oh, say, so it looks like for legendary dragons I have okay. I have all these for the legendary dragons. So let's go ahead and open up these next, I would say. Matter of fact, to make this easier, let's get some scissors. Yeah. That is way easier because I'm not going to fool around for 20 minutes trying to get those packs open. All right, Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, that alt art, as well as Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. It's cool when they do alt arts. And here's the Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon alt art. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon again. Odd Eyes Phantom. Odd Eyes Persona, which is really cool. Um, they, this was actually a Shannon Jump card, if I remember. So it's cool that they you know reprinted it in the set back in the day. Skull Crabat Joker, this card. <laughs> if you guys remember Pepe format. This is just really cool. You guys have seen the Legendary Dragon openings before. I'm just going to be showing off the cards. It's really cool. Like Duelist Alliance, like a lot of really good Pendulum stuff comes in Legendary Dragons, um, as well as, you know, a lot of good uh, Cyber Dragon stuff. Uh, Legendary Dragons is a good. Um, it's a good set to pick up. Like, yeah, Odd Eyes Vortex, uh, Common. Very good cards. Very, very, very good cards in, uh, in the Legendary Dragon set. I've actually, like, I had forgotten just how many good Pendulum cards come in this until just now. And good staples as well. Terraforming, just, like, 
wow like I, I had forgotten about that that is incredible that's really cool all right moving on to the next uh, next pack from it there's that chimera tech mega fleet dragon cyber repair plant that beautiful max rarity cyber dragon stuff give me yeah that's max rarity for cyber repair plant that is the ultra rare for it um, I can't remember if it's gotten printed again I really can't remember off the top of my head right now but yeah um, just I mean max for max for other things like you know super rare core from like the structure deck and stuff ultimate cyber dragon would be max you know for cyber dragon um, stuff like that um, even though I like the secret rare from legendary collection GX you know not much better I like that art better but man, this comes with uh, this comes with some really cool stuff. Power bonds, overload fusion. I mean, all the stuff that you need for uh, cyber dragons. It's all here. Storming mirror force, very very good common. Drowning all the mirror. Oh wow, I forgot about that. Wow, drowning, quaking, storming commons all right there these are all great cards guys this shuffles them all back to deck this sets them all and this bounces them all back to hand and, pe and if you if you resolve this against your, your opponent there's a lot of the time they're just gonna get salty because no one plays battle traps anymore and if you flip one of these that's I mean a lot of the time you just win because you just shuffled all their crap back to the deck it's nuts dude these cards like dude, people sleep on these mirror force cards they really do um, they're really really great cards uh, cyber twin dragon like I said just all the stuff you need for cyber dragons guys all right there cyber dragon Nova Chimera Tech Rampage, I mean, uh, like all the good stuff, all the good stuff. Very cool, very, very cool. Now, this is gonna be uh, the Dark Magician stuff, which is also really cool because they came out with a lot of the stuff from the show and they uh, finally printed it in this set. So that's what's awesome. You know, you're uh, waking the dragons era of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Prince's Illusion Magician, fantastic card. I think that card's, uh, I can't remember how much that goes for right now, but it's money. Um, Magician Navigation. Um, just all this Dark Magician stuff. Um, you guys have seen Dark Magicians do stuff on top. Here's some like goat Dark Magician stuff. Skilled Dark Magician. Yes, this is goat. That's 1917 defense. Pretty good. Yep. There's Tamias. That's, that's what I was talking about. The Waking of the Dragons. Uh, Critias, Tamias, Hermos. Breaker the Magical Warrior, good and goats. Uh, you guys are probably like, oh, this guy can go for me. I know, believe me. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Big Shield Gardener, uh, Dark Magic Curtain. Just uh, all the good Dark Magician stuff, all the stuff from Waking the Dragons, like I was saying. Pot of Duality, great, great common. Crush Card Virus, great, great common. And you even have regular old Mirror Force in here. You even have regular old Mirror Force in here, because why not? They just give you all the Mirror Forces in this. Common Dark Paladin, that's pretty cool. Uh, Doom Virus Dragon, just like all these cool, oh my gosh, all these cool cards from the show. I'm so glad that they finally made them. Um, wow, that was, that was, I forgot just how, I really did forget just how much uh, good stuff came in that. I don't know where to go next. That is really cool. Um, let's get, I guess let's open up the legendary, yeah, speaking of dragons, yeah, let's open up the legendary uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon next, I suppose. Um, because, you know, Blue Eyes is awesome. Blue Eyes White Dragon, Proxy Dragon, Pot of Desires. Oh, this is from the other ten. I forgot about that, right? That's right, because it was like Dark Magician in one of the tens from a couple years ago, and then Blue Eyes from the other ten. That's right, I just remembered that. And then, uh, ints, yeah, ints, ints, ints. you can send that off of Gale Dagra, pop a card. Um, there are times I'll uh, send this off of uh, Extra Foolish Burial or Gale Dagra, pop my own toy vendor and do some like crazy stuff. Like, I I've come up with some crazy stuff over the years, but yeah, um, as soon as I like, saw the uh, Proxy Dragon too, I was like, oh yeah, these these are from the tens, yeah, and then uh, there's the uh, Kaiba token that comes with that. So yeah, the, um, there's some tens, uh, you know, one year. I think it was the 2018 tens. Uh, don't call me on that. Yeah, it's 2018 tens. Yeah, I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but yeah, one came with a Dark Magician, the other one came with a Blue Eyes. But moving on, it was like they actually had a uh, Kaiba on the ten too and stuff. But um, there is a uh, Jur wait Jormungard. J How do they expect kids to read this? Jormungardr, Jormungardr, the Nordic serpent. Jor Jormungardr, Jorm Brady, what, what is that? What, what, why is that Yu-Gi-Oh? Why is that on a Yu-Gi-Oh card? Jormungardr. I'm not being unreasonable. No, no. They're they're being unreasonable. Finrare, the Nordic Wolf, guys, moving on. Stardust Flash, Black Rose Dragon, and then Shooting Quasar Dragon, which is awesome. Rip Galactic God, my father. All right. Bujintai Susanawo. Bujingi Crane and an Archfiend Commander. These are from those, uh, those are, these are from like the uh, Tiger King Megatons, yeah, or whatever. These are from like the 2014, 2015 Megatons. These are a little older. That Archfiend Commander looks really cool, though, the more I look at it. I always like the way that Archfiends looked. Some of them anyways, not all of them. Archfiend Eris is pretty cool. Alright. Obelisk, the Tormentor. 
never gets old. Slifer, the Sky Dragon, and the Winged Dragon of Raw. Blue Eyes, White Dragon, and Dark Magician, as well as Red Eyes, Black Dragon. Man, they got it right with that Legendary Collection 1, didn't they? Just give them all the classics, just right then and there, boom, dude! That is awesome! Just all of them, all ultra rare, all looking nice and crisp. This nice and awesome alternate darker art on the Red Eyes Black Dragon I always liked. Uh, and they also uh, reprinted this um, as an ulti as well as these. These two both got uh, ulti reprints. Um, but, yeah, those god cards never get old, guys. Moving on, so this is going to be um, the, uh, yeah, I think this is the Lair Structure Deck. Yep, this is that Structure Deck. That's exactly what I thought it was, because, uh, yeah, Lil Lilith, Lady of Lament, say that ten times fast. Darkest, Diabolos, Lord of the Lair. Yeah, this is the Lair Structure Deck, which is pretty cool. Been wanting to put that deck together, and then, yeah, the Grinning Gray Virus, very powerful card. Lair's an underrated deck. It can be very powerful. That's a cool reprint, like Lord. Prometheus, King of the Shadows, that's a cool reprint. I didn't know they reprinted that in here. This is actually the first time I've opened the structure deck. So while well, the, uh, the other stuff, uh, where's the other stuff I've opened up, like the, the 10 stuff I've opened it up before and it was kind of coming back to me as I was opening it. Um, this this I never opened, so there's there's no uh, nostalgia here or anything. This is all new to me right here, right here, right now. Oh my gosh, Vanity's Fiend reprint, that's really good. Mist Archfiend's a cool looking card. It's one of the other Archfiends I've, I've talked about that looks cool. Infernal Dragon, Archfiend, Calvary, Stygian, Street Patrol, Phantom of Chaos, Plague Wolf, Fiendish Rhino Warrior, Curry Bandit, Tour Guide from the Underworld, Absolute King Backjack, Ruling Karibo, Recurring Nightmare, cool reprint, Allure of Darkness, Hand Destruction, Foolish Burial of Goods, very cool reprint, Boogie Trap, Fires of Doomsday, cool card. Veil of Darkness. There's like so many cool dark cards in this. Oh my gosh. Crush card. Deck Devi. Eradicator. Full Force. What is this? I forgot about all that. That's awesome. Dark Light. Trap of Darkness. Mind Crush. Rise to Full Height. Curse of Darkness. Sinister Yoshiro. Torment Token. And then whatever this is. That is awesome. Wow. I forgot that layer stuff came up. Came with so much. That is really cool. I'm, I was really surprised by that. Hell yeah, hell yeah, all right. Last promo pack, guys, and we'll open up those dual overload packs. I just wanted to open them up all at the same time here. Contrast Hero, Chaos, Elemental Hero, Shadow Mist, Koga, Divine Wind, and then there it is. Elemental Hero, Dark Law, otherwise known as Walking Macrocosmos. Your stuff does not hit the graveyard. It does not collect $200. It gets banished, and I rob stuff from your hand. The card, great card. All right, Elemental Hero, Woods Man. Dude, all just the classic heroes. I don't even need to say their names. I don't even need to say their names. Y'all know them. Y'all know them. Bubble Man. I don't know why I said his name. Grandma, Honest, then there we go. There's some like, other staple cards that are fantastic. Card Trooper, Mills cards, Honest. You guys know what Honest does. Uh, you just kind of run over your opponent. Summon, uh, Summoner Monk, fantastic card. Mass Change 2. Yep, there's the Mass Change cards. Polly, Miracle Fusion, Hero Lives. Everything you need for a hero deck. All right here in the structure deck. Even got Pot of Duality reprint again. Compulsory print, bottom of some staple reprints in here. Just good structure deck the hero structure deck was a pretty damn good structure deck it really was in my opinion especially for its time because it came out in necros format and like dark claw was just like this natural really good counter to necros because all their stuff got banished and then when they searched off of uh you know uh, brian or whatever you just like banished whatever they just searched with uh, dark claws effects stuff like that so uh yeah i, I feel like it came out um in a really good time in a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh history it was a really good uh a deck. It was a really good, uh, I guess, tier two deck to go against Necroz and Burning Abyss and just literally everything. I really liked Heroes back in the day. Now, to the dual overload packs. Let's see what we got in this first one. Reptilian Echidna, Watt Draft, Starving Venomy Lethal Dose Dragon, White's Mare, and a Cubic Dharma. Once again, these are all ultra rares out of dual overload. I don't think I said that earlier, but they are all ultra rares out of here. So that's why I wanted to open up the promos and uh, the dual overload all together today is because a lot of guaranteed foils, a lot of guaranteed foils. So it makes sense. Malefic Selector, that's some really cool card art on that. Ferocious Flame Swordsman, very cool. Rose Bell of Revelation, Paleozoic, Paleozoic Dinomiscus, and then Swap Frog. Hey, that's a good reprint. Still a lot of frog players in Yu-Gi-Oh! I've seen. There's a lot of frog paleo players out there still I've ran into. Destiny Hero Celestial, Phantom Emperor Trilogig, 
Mayaki Mayhem. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that. Dangerous Fright for Knights Mary. Very cool. Chaos Goddess. That man, that's a cool. That's a reprint, isn't it? A reprint. I can't remember, but she looks cool. She looks cool. I want to say she was like a hidden arsenal card or something. What is she? Ah, man. That's what I get for being gone, guys. I was gone for it was almost two years, and yeah, like you can't do that. Ooh, there's a good pool. Herald of Mirage Lights. Very good for the Herald deck, guys. Very good for the Herald deck. Cubic, cubic Ascension. Extra Hero Infernal Divisor. Very cool. Malefic Tune. And then Ang... Brady? Okay. Once again, am I being unreasonable? And Gray... Ingratium? Uh, ingra no, is it Ingratium? No, because there's no I before the U. Ingratium. I think it's Ingratium. 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 Next pack. Ne just, just. Ne ne next pack. Malefic Selector. Firebrand Hymnist. Yuki Oda. Hey, that's cool. The Absolute Zero Mayakashi. Secret Six Samurai, Fuma, and then a Cubic Dharma. Great Raptor, Weiss Strix, Speedroid, Marble Machine, Ancient Gear, but at least I might leave that in. Magical Musketeers, the Star of Fire. Hey, Digester Emerald, Ultra Rare. That's a cool reprint. That's a really cool reprint, actually. Uh, if I remember, Digester Emerald's still at one right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Because you can uh, recycle stuff. Alien Shock Trooper M Frame. Celestial Hero. Uh, Destiny Hero Celestial, my bad. Five Headed Link Dragon. <laughs> That's pretty cool. White Mare. And then Double Evolution Pill. Very, very cool. A lot of people still playing that in dinos. Need to pull that Needle Fiber, though. Oh, that is way cool. Dark Anthelion Dragon. That's awesome. I like that. Magical Musketeer, Casper, Relinquished, Anima. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Heck, yeah. Malefic Paradox Gear, King Yosuke, whatever that is. That's awesome. No, I'm happy I pulled the Relinquished. I'm looking for that Needle Fiber, of course, but I'm happy for that Relinquished. That's really, really, really cool. Next pack. Next pack. Number 27, Dreadnought, Dreadnoid, Cubic, Casualty, Mayakashi, Mayhem, Salaman Great, Al Mirage, very cool, Malefic, Divide. These packs are getting better as I'm going. Pull an Al Mirage, pull the Relinquished Anima, what? Abyss Actor, Hyper Director, Hollow Giants, Extra Hero, Infernal Divisor, Bloom Harmonist, The Melodious Composer. Secret Six Samurai Fuma. We got two more packs. Got two more. I'm on a roll now. I'm, just, I'm just like cruising through these now. Speaking of cruising, we got our Dreadnought to cruise on again. Dark Anthelion Dragon. Celestial Nark. Oh, hey, hey, that's cool. Night, Night Lord Parshath. Uh, Cart of Fate and an Ojama Emperor. <laughs> I forgot about Ojama Emperor. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, last pack. Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? Cybernetic Overflow, Speedroid Marble Machine, and I got it. The Needle Fiber, Dangerous Fright for Nightmare, Simorg, Bird of Sovereignty. Does not matter. I was look. I got everything. I was. I literally got everything I was looking for. I, I feel sorry for everybody else. I open packs. I pull exactly what I need. Everyone else is just SOL. That's that's how I feel about it. That's how I feel about it, man. It may take me a while. I mean, I might have. I, there might be some suspense to it, but I always pull good cards. Jesus powers. Seriously, I pulled a lot of good stuff here. A lot of cool stuff that I wanted. Um, you know, extra Cyber Dragon stuff even. Uh, but like for me, like this guy's really cool. I like the way he looks. Like the the Odd Eyes Dragons and stuff. Uh, I always thought looked really cool. Um, but uh, the main wins for me, like just stuff I needed for decks and stuff. These three right here. Um, the, these are literally the, the exact three cards I was like, I want to pull these, and I did it. Subscribe! <laughs>